Well, I'm one of the last master wood carvers left in America. Now, what I'm doing is 10,000 years old. Bass relief is carving on a flat surface where sculpture is carved on a round surface. I carve entry doors for log homes and beam and timber homes, which is my specialty. I also carve mantles and headboards and wall hangings and valances over windows. I carve North American mammals and wildlife scenes. And also I carve Southwest Indian doors and I show the beauty in nature. I have this connectedness to a source that the source moves my arms and I just go with it. I suffered a very severe traumatic brain injury. I died in Flight for Life. It took me six months to talk to learn to talk, and eight months to laugh. I find my inspiration waking up in the morning and being alive. I'm carving shamans, I'm carving Mayan angels. I'm in a supernatural realm, and I believe dying has given me a vision that has no limits. This is my creative genius, but I'm self-taught. I don't know what it's gonna look like until it's done, because my work takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, and you need patience to do something as magnificent as what I do. Uh, this is my newest carving. It took all last summer, three months. He's a Mayan child angel with animals of the rainforest. Her eyes, all the eyes are in a turquoise. This is stained glass. So all my furniture I built and everything is carved. My home is a wood carving museum. My greatest compliment of a friend, my home is a visual orgasm. That works for me. My greatest joy in the world, someone comes up and they touch it. Because there's a magic, there's a feeling of hand carved. It's all hand carved. And no machine can produce that. Only this, and this, and this. I believe every artist has a duty to be outspoken and be a rebel. The hardest thing to carve is action. So anytime I can incorporate action, it's spectacular. My clients know that I'm a unique individual and they know I love what I do so therefore they know whatever they're going to get is one of a kind the only one on the planet that I never carved the same carving twice how boring would that be I'm not boring